Hello and welcome to episode 203 where we're going to be doing some ray casting experiments with command blocks. Uh, command blocks only, we're not going to use a data pack because uh, we haven't started using those yet. And is it possible with only commands? Yes it is, otherwise this would be a pretty pointless video. So let's get some setup. Scoreboard, objectives, add. Um, I call it raycast, why not? That makes sense. And it's going to be of type used carrot on a stick. Okay, we're going to use that to detect when the player wants to send the raycast out. Done. Now we're going to have some command blocks to initialize it. Init the raycast, initialize the raycast. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon an area effect cloud inside the player. So execute as all players scores equals raycast equals one. I'll just say or higher as well at S. Okay, so that is now executing at my feet when I use the uh, carrot on a stick. I don't want it I don't want this to run at my feet though. I want it to run at my head. So I'm gonna do positioned I'm just gonna lift it up by 1.5. So now it's inside my head. That's yeah, good enough. And I'm gonna summon an area effect cloud. Oops. Run. Summon an area effect cloud at that position which is currently set inside my head. Let's give it some tags. We'll just call it ray. That makes sense. I will give it a little radius of 0f. And I'll give it a lifetime. How long it lives for. Its duration. I'm going to say it lives for a second. Okay. Done. So now if I use my cat on a stick, I have an area effect cloud in my head. Yeah, pretty useless so far. Actually, let's... Let's put down a little block here and we'll call this test particles because we would be nice to see where the area effect cloud is to see that we're getting stuff right. So let's execute as just at will do at any entity tag equals ray run particle. Uh, I like the flame at it. Uh, it's very small. We don't want any speed, we'll only have one particle and we'll put normal, which is the default anyway. Done. Turn that into repeating, we'll turn it on. So do I, let's turn that on. Okay, this, all right. So I've, I've, I've clicked on my uh, carrot on a stick. I have a score of one or higher. So I have area effect clouds in my head, uh, which is rather annoying actually. Well, let's put on the end of here, let's put scoreboard players reset for all players raycast. Done. There we go. Now when I click, we make one and the score is reset. We make one and the score is reset. But it's facing, probably facing south default direction. So let's change the way it's facing. Actually, we'll do that in a minute. We'll move it first and then we'll get a more visual idea of what's happening. So if we put this down and this will be move ray. So in here, let's say execute as any entity tag equals ray at itself. If the block that it's in is air, then we will run teleport we'll use carrots and we'll teleport it forward just a little bit 0 0.3 done let's turn that on let's summon one hey there he goes he's shooting off now it looks like he's shooting the way i'm facing but he's not he's shooting in the default direction so it doesn't matter which way i face he's always going to go that direction okay and that's what this block here is for so we're summoning him inside the head and then what we'll do is we'll execute as all players whose scores equal 
Raycast equals one or higher at that player. And we have to move up because that's executing at our feet. We have to move back up to our head. At our head, what are we going to do? We're going to do rotated as the person running the command. So that's me. So it's going to want to rotate them into the direction I'm facing because we are going to run teleport any entity tag equals ray distance equals let's say naught to 0.5 oopsies we closed them there we shouldn't have there we go tag equals ray distance equals naught to 0.5 and we'll teleport them to my x my y my z my pitch and my yaw done so now whichever way i'm looking so we summon him we change him so he's looking exactly the same direction as me then we reset our score and this one is moving him forward so this is much better we've got a little ray cast going there perfect okay it's not doing anything yet though so let's build a little wall here point point there's our wall and this will be hit and when it hits we'll do a message so how are we going to do a message we will execute as any entity tag equals ray at itself unless the block it's in is air so we're only going to do this when it hits something and we will do store success entity as s duration int zero so what's this going to do we're going to run a command here run if this command is successful we will do one times zero and put it into the duration nbt data of the area effect cloud that will kill it because it'll only be alive for a duration of zero if this command is unsuccessful well it's going to do the same thing this command is going to be a tell raw all players and we'll just have something simple text hit why isn't that working because that is a semicolon not a colon so execute at the ray so he's flying forwards if he's in air we're going to do nothing if he's not in air we're going to try and run this command if this command is successful we're going to put a zero into his duration so if he hits a block he's going to say hit and die done let's test it that's the theory now if we're too far away he didn't make it so let's clear the chat go a bit closer hit okay he definitely hit the block bottom one hit right so we are hitting the block that's definitely working let's turn that off let's change it up a bit let's control middle mouse that and put another one down so we've copied the command from there and this one is going to be hit and we'll do a set block this time just so we've got some sort of visual thing happening so we keep it all the same we're just going to change the command it runs at the end instead of doing a tell raw we will do a set block at the position of the ray and we know he's inside the block because that's where he's uh, that's where he's gone because we said unless block is air and let's change it to red wall and i'll put replace although it defaults to that anyway so again if we're too far away nothing's going to happen if we get a bit closer bang okay it's slow though it's very slow now that's not a problem we can speed it up pretty much as much as we like where's our bit that's moving him move here we go let's control middle mouse and copy that put it down and we'll change it to chain always active and then we'll control middle mouse that and let's just put a few more on there we go so he's now he's being teleported all these times instead of just one time so he should be quicker uh, it's almost instant now okay we'll keep that we can put more on to make it faster 
So we can check when it hits a block and set block. We can check when it hits a block and play a message. Mm, what about an entity? Let's let's go for an entity. Okay, this one I think we're going to do a little bit different. Yeah, let's copy a blank one of them. And this will be for when it hits an entity. We're still going to execute as the ray. So execute as any entity tag equals ray. Add itself run tag any entity uh, within a distance equals naught to one type equals not a player because we're not targeting players with this add and we'll add the tag hit me okay now there is a problem with this command and it's this distant command he is checking for any entity within naught to one now the area effect cloud itself is an entity so it's going to detect itself so what we're going to do is we're going to put from 0.1 to 1 so it's going to start its little check range just a little bit away from itself so it's not going to see itself now so let's say done for that okay what's it going to do so we've added a tag hit me so we've tagged the entity we can do whatever we like to the entity now um we'll just do something simple we will just do kill any entity tag equals hit me hit capital m is that the same that is the same and we might as well if we do that we might as well let's put a conditional on here we might as well kill the ray as well because it's done its job tag equals ray okay so we're going to find an entity and tag it we'll kill you could put whatever you like in here you can teleport it i don't know give it some money whatever you want to do we're going to kill it and then when this command is done we will kill the ray so let's turn that on so we're initializing we're moving we're showing the particles and we're looking for uh, entities armor stand is an entity so let's just test it with that there we go now if we're too close we'll be actually clicking on it's not working because i'm actually clicking on the armor stand so we have to be a bit further away well, it certainly seems to work. What happens if I have a few in a row? Does it now because this is killing it, it should only target one. A bit too close. There we go. So it seems to target one. What happens if we remove this block? Well, I just remove the command. There we go. Because we didn't kill it, it just traveled through them all and killed them all. So we do want to uh we do want to kill the ray after it's done its job. That's pretty much it. I think we've got three checks there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we're initializing it. We summon it out of our head. We make it face the direction we are going. And then we remove our score. Then we just make it move forwards. And then with these three, we're doing three different checks to see if it hits a block, play a message. If it hits a block, we change the block. If it hits an entity, we tag the entity. And then we can do whatever we want to the tagged entity. That's pretty good. Now, I think, let's have a check. We know it's working. Let's just double check, just in case. Get me carrot on a stick back. So we're not using that one. Let's use set block and I'll just shoot there. Okay, it's definitely working. Let's turn that off, that off. Oh, I'm off, not on, off. We're gonna turn them all off. We've only got initialization running. And I'm going to get one of these. These are all the same, remember. Control middle mouse. How many have we got? Five. One, two, three, four, five. So let's put five of them on the end there. And which one are we doing? We're doing the set block. Let's copy that. Let's just put that on the end. Doesn't need redstone. It's chain. So they all off except this one line. Now it should still work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, still works. So you can line them all up in a row like that if you want to. I quite like this. It's quite a successful experiment, I would say. Boink, boink. Okay, and obviously we don't need the particles. You can turn them off if you want. And now you've just got to 
little way of clicking on stuff and changing things. Okay, there we go. It's just a little experiment with raycasting using only command blocks, uh, changing a block or tagging an entity to do things to it later. I don't know what you want to do with it. Entirely up to you. I will see you next time. Take care. Thanks for watching. And if you made it all the way to the end, you must have liked it. So go on, press the like button. Thank you. Bye.